Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to interpret information from family trees. Now I should point out that this can be a bit tricky and you might need to watch this video a couple of times. In previous videos we've looked at inherited disorders and we saw that some inherited disorders are caused by a recessive allele and cystic fibrosis is a good example. Remember that a person with cystic fibrosis must inherit the faulty allele from both parents. This person has one copy of the faulty allele, so they do not have cystic fibrosis, but they are a carrier. Whereas this person has inherited a copy of the faulty allele from both parents, so they've got cystic fibrosis. We also looked at polydactyly, which is caused by a dominant allele. Remember that a person only has to inherit the faulty allele from one parent in order to develop polydactyly. So this person inherited the faulty allele from both parents whereas this person inherited the faulty allele from only one parent. However, both of these people have polydactyly, and that's because the polydactyly allele is dominant. You only need one copy of a dominant allele to show the characteristic. So in this video, we're looking at family trees. I'm showing you a family tree here. This is for cystic fibrosis. Now the key fact is that a family tree only shows phenotypes. It does not show genotypes. Okay, so let's look at some typical exam questions. Here's the first one. Work out the genotype of person 2. Well, person 2 has cystic fibrosis, and we know that the cystic fibrosis allele is recessive. So person 2 must have the genotype lowercase c, lowercase c. Here's the next question. Give one piece of evidence that cystic fibrosis is caused by a recessive allele. Now this is a very common question on family trees, so you need to learn the answer. If we look at person 11, we can see that they've got cystic fibrosis. However, neither of their parents have cystic fibrosis. In other words, person 7 and 8. Person 7 and 8 must be carriers, and the cystic fibrosis allele must be recessive. Now, if cystic fibrosis was dominant, then at least one of the parents would have to have cystic fibrosis in order to pass the allele onto person 11. Okay, here's the third question. If persons 7 and 8 had another child, what's the chance that it would have cystic fibrosis? Now as we know, persons 7 and 8 are both carriers. In other words, they're heterozygous. They've got one copy of the defective allele and one copy of the normal allele. I'm showing you here the Punnett square that we saw in the video on cystic fibrosis. As you can see, when two cystic fibrosis carriers reproduce, the probability of one of their offspring having cystic fibrosis is 25%. In other words, 1 in 4. Okay, I'm showing you here a family tree for polydactyly. And remember that polydactyly is dominant. So here's the first question. What's the genotype of person 3? In this case, person 3 must have the genotype capital P, lowercase p. In other words, they're heterozygous. Because they have polydactyly, we know that person 3 has to have at least one copy of the polydactyly allele. However, person 3 cannot have inherited the polydactyly allele from person 1. That's because person 1 does not have polydactyly, so person 1 cannot have a copy of the polydactyly allele. So person 3 must have inherited their polydactyly allele from person 2. Here's a second question. If persons 6 and 7 have another child, what's the probability that they've got polydactyly? I'm showing you here the Punnett square that we saw in the video on polydactyly. In this case, we know that the mother is unaffected. She's got the genotype lowercase p, lowercase p. The father has polydactyly, and he has a genotype capital P, lowercase p. We know that because he only inherited the polydactyly allele from one of his parents. So as you can see in this cross, the probability of any offspring having polydactyly is 50%, or 1 in 2. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on family trees in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.